Morning guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. Got here behind me a Renault Megane 3 1.5 DCI, it's 2011. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to change the diesel fuel filter. Right, <clears throat> not in the engine bay as you would imagine, it's in the wheel arch. It's actually buried right down there. You can just see the top of it. So, what we've got to do with this one is take off the wheel, get the inner liner out, and uh, take it from there. Okay, the wheel's off. I'll show you in a minute what clips you've got to undo to get the liner out. The filter that we're fitting today is a Perflex one. It's an FCS770. Um, it comes with some replacement seals, and it's this type of filter where we have an inlet and an outlet and a big hole on the top with a cap in it. We take that cap out and that's where your fuel heater goes on there and uh, a plug in the bottom there. That may have a water and fuel sensor. We'll have a look in a minute. Um, I'll show you where these clips are now then. Right, the clips. Get some light. Uh, this one was just hanging in. It's already been broken but there's one there which is basically one of these uh, round ones so we'll have to lever those out with a trim tool. And then we've got a 20 Torx there, and there's one there, and there's another clip just there we'll get out with a trim tool. So let's get them taken out now. Okay, pop that out. They're just a big uh, pushing type of clip. One there. One there, so there should be one there, but that's missing. It's holding up, so we don't need to do anything about that. 20 Torx, one screw there, and one there. And then just push it backwards to get it out from this. Bumper area, like so. There's one more behind my light, and then we can pull that right the way out. And then the liner can just come right out of the way. So, it's up in there, up inside this protective housing, casing. Um, so it looks like we've got a 10mm nut, we've got a connector to disconnect, so it's just push the tab and pull that off, just a two pin connector. Uh, there's not a water and fuel, it's actually a drain at the bottom so we'll change that over, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's start off, we'll whiz this undone, 10 mil. In the casing we'll just Hinge open like so. Don't worry about that, that's water where I filled the washers earlier. If you, if you spill it, it goes right on top of the fuel filter. I hope you can see this alright. I was just filming then and realised it was getting steamier and steamier. My lens is steaming up. It was so humid yesterday. Uh, I've got my camera out the bag and it's, the lens has just gone. So. Just warmed it in front of my office fan heater. So anyway, filter there, two connections. I've disconnected the plug already, as I said. Let's get you a bit of a close-up on these connections, if I can. There we go. So you've got one with a little green tab just there, and that one's got a little white tab. And what we've got to do to release those, we've just got to push the tabs in. Just come back a little bit. Right, so as I say, I've just, what I've just done then is just push that in, just got that little trim tool or a little screwdriver and just put it underneath and just lever it up and out of the way. There you go. Spillage of diesel. Going to collect that in a bucket. All right, snaps that one up. And do the same with the other one. Just push it in. And just gently lever it over the ridge there. Mm. 
and there it is. So, the connector with the green tab, looking on the top, is the in, green for go, that's going in. The connector with the white tab, is it coming out of the filter, just in case we get confused. Right, got a set up here, set up here on the bench, so this is the filter, this is the drain, it's still full of diesel, so we need to drain that, drain that into a suitable receptacle, and this one's going into, uh, into my little bucket of diesel that I keep, it's handy sometimes when you just need a bit of diesel just to bleed a filter up or something. So you'll notice that there's a uh, little green o-ring on there, so we'll be changing that no doubt to a little green o-ring in the pack. That's most of it out, let's just lay that there for the time being. Get all these seals out, so we'll change over this small one first. Let's get a little hooky tool and a little pick. Okay, take that off. Replace it with a new one. All of these, when you've got new seals on a diesel filter, just coat them with a bit of diesel for when they go back on. But we might as well now just transfer that onto the new onto the new one as we're there. Take the plug out the bottom. It's already threaded and there's already a seal up inside there. Spin it on. Just hand tight, it's fine. So the next bit, we need to swap over the top piece of this. Ooh. Make sure we've got the right orientation. We have it's that way around. So there's one screw on the top, and this is a T25. Just there. twist and it should pull out. We're doing well. There we go. Dumped a lot more diesel over the bench. Ooh. We've got a tsunami. Right. Messy, but there we are, never mind. And that's what we take out. So, in there, looks like some heater elements that are up inside just there. So, we've got three seals on this we need to change one there, one there, one there, which are the three remaining seals left that came with the new filter. Thing wearing these latex gloves. They're not very good in fuel. They're a little bit soggy. Right, last one, the big green one. Get that off. Get it in 
find some diesel. Plenty of it on the bench. There we go. in to get that hole lined up like so and it's seated all the way down screw back in right, I'll clean my hands and then tighten it Get rid of the diesel off my hands. Okay, back out the car, cleaned up all that diesel, tighten up that screw on the top of the fuel heater, pull these caps off. So, back in, they should just clip straight on there nicely. Push it down and it clicks. Again. Just clean off any excess diesel and spillages. Like that. Plug it back in. Now in the wiring. Close its little door. Back up. Great. Now I'm going to put this wheel arch back on and I'll show you what we do to bleed it through. Right, the wheel's back on, talked up to factory spec. These are your fuel lines. These had diesel in uh, before I disconnected them. This is the diesel that you saw coming out. This is the priming, uh, uh, the priming ball here. What we need to do is squeeze this. And you can see the diesel then comes through. And just keep going until it goes hard. got a one-way valve in there so these will come through valve will shut and suck them through that's getting harder now right start it started and cut out, put the ignition on. We've got to get this flowing right through here to the pump. Here it comes now. off and just check you haven't got any leaks down there which you're probably not going to have because it's all bled through nicely. That's good, that's how you do your fuel filter on your Renault Megane 3 1.5 DCI, so this one's a 2011. Uh, I think the, the problem with a lot of people is they just don't know where it is so now you know it's up in the wheel arch and that's how you do it. Uh, don't forget to connect to me on Facebook, on Twitter and on Google Plus. Thanks for watching.